Alright, what is going on you guys? It's your boy Wada. I'm here. Welcome back to some more Tsukihime, a piece of blue glass moon. Last time we met the Dr. Arak. Arak? Arak? I think, I think it's Arak, right? Because it's supposed to be a play on the word Arachnid. And I mean, she did use a couple of like spider uh, euphemisms. Is that the correct phrase or word to say? I don't know. I don't know. But here we go, man. Let's get into it because I want to I get some of the, 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 the action of this game, man. I want to get into some of the action. Day two, the day that was not. Just do a quick load here. All right. Mm. All right, let me, let me get a bit of water here. Also, if you see me looking to the side of the, the side of the offside of the camera, it's because my, my dog's acting a little foolish. Um, it's not really, it's not even drizzling. I don't even know why he's acting like this, but uh, there's not even like a gray cloud in the sky. He's just acting a little dumb, you know? <laughs> I mean, because like, I have already, I think I told you guys, uh, you know, my dog's not the biggest fan of rain and thunder. So he like, he like ends up like shaking like a complete twig. But even like the lightest drizzle, he starts shaking. It's like, come on, dude. You, you've been living in Florida for nearly your entire life and you're acting like this. <laughs> that's just him. That's just him. But here we go, man. Here we go. The intruder leaves the same way she arrived, humming to herself. That awkward moment. <laughs> it, there it is. An awkward silence pervades the parlor. Nah, hey, uh, Akia. Arak -sensei I don't know much about Dr. Arak myself. Father's will stipulates that we grant, uh, grant her access to the mansion and permission to mend things around it. It seems Father often relied on her abilities uh, with regard to architecture, one of her many talents. Okay, that's another, like, thing a spider you know because spiders build webs and if she has a, a knack for architecture they're really playing onto the spider bit with dr rock here huh aki explains the situation curtly she answered before i can even ask who the woman was as if to say she doesn't want me to ask any more questions <laughs> Excuse me, Mistress Akia. It's almost time to leave for school. Hmm? It feels a little tense in here. Hmm. Already scaring poor Shiki with your demands first thing in the morning, are we? Oh? What do you mean... Already. I will never request the impossible. Everything we have discussed thus far has been perfectly within the realm of reason. Damn. Hold on. Fucking nose is itchy. Don't know why. Kohaku seems amused by Akia's defense. It's only the second day, but I feel like I'm star uh, starting to understand their relationship. Well then, I'll be leaving for, uh, leaving for school. Shiki, I do hope you won't forget about your curfew. Did you read the? Uh, did you see the news from last night? No, you took my phone away. I haven't. Someone thought it was uh, reasonable to take my phone away from me. Remember? I see. I'll make sure there's a morning paper in the parlor starting tomorrow then. You should make it a habit of waking up early to... Is it peruse? 
It's not per sue. Uh, in every day. Or per use. It's per use. Okay, okay. Lay down, buddy. Lay down. Ah, there she goes again. My sarcasm was quickly hurled back in my face by her cold, pointed response. Apparently, the body of a vagrant was found outside the north exit of Soya Station. Some report, uh, some report the cause of death as exposure, but others have uh, reported it as blood loss. I mean, Shiki should be fine, right? Technically, it was females. Those females getting attacked by this, our vampire, I guess we could just say. I mean, should be no stranger what game we're playing. <laughs> Regardless of the true cause, the city is not safe. I trust you will not shame our family by getting yourself involved in such a ridiculous affair. Only you know. Please make sure to be home before the sun sets. And with that, she's off to school. Akia leaves a parlor after reminding me of my curfew. But if she wants me home before the sun sets, that means I have to be back by 6. Why even make my curfew 8 o'clock then? The clock in the parlor puts, uh, puts the time at 7.30am. I can make it to school as long as I have 30 minutes to spare, but will Akia arrive in time? I think I remember As uh, Asagami's girls' academy was pretty far away. Huh. As I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised if Aki has like a private driver to take her to school. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Like it. It would be fun if she had to walk that, but I doubt it. She probably legit has like a pri a private driver to take her. So here we go. Cheeky, cheeky. Can you hear me? Yes, you. Downtrodden and wallowing despair after facing Mistress Akia's scathing assault. Oh, what the fuck was that face? <laughs> uh, what is she doing? Headed behind the sofa, she gestures me to come over her to her. I can hear you, Kohaku. What are you doing here? I'm not Kohaku. I'm a mysterious being in the shadows, a silent guardian, which is why I can give you this. Kohaku pulls out a cell phone from the sleeve of her kimono. That's my phone that Akia confiscated yesterday. Uh, are, are you sure? Of course. Though let's not mention this to Mistress Akia, okay? Be careful she doesn't catch you. Also, try not to use it while you're in the mansion. We don't get very good service anyway. So you probably wouldn't be able to regardless. Kohaku-san. Ah. Kohaku. At least someone in the tone of manner is on my side. I take the phone and quickly slip it into the inner pocket of my uniform. Take this too. It's a key card for the main gate. Of course, I can unlock it for you if you press the buzzer, but it does take time to get to the security room. I hate to trouble you, but if you're in a hurry, it'll be faster to open the gate with this. A keycard for the gate. The tunnels sure don't slouch when it comes to security. Well, considering only, there's only two, technically, heirs left, you know? Well then, 
had to see Mistress Aki off. Hisui will take care of everything else for you. So, Hisui just didn't see what Kohaku did? Okay. Oh, never mind, there she is. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, sister. What the fuck was that noise? Was that her sandals hitting the floor? Why did it sound like that? What the fuck? Okay. That sounded like someone fucking throwing salami at a wall. What the fuck? <laughs> Kohaku hurries off after Akio. Will you have time to make it to school, Master Shiki? Yeah, it only takes 30 minutes or so to walk from here. Well, it's 7.30 now, so I should be so I should make it if I run a bit. Thanks for worrying about me though. Yeah, I don't think you should be running your condition, my man. Hisui nods, seemingly uh, seemingly satisfied with my explanation. Then please, allow me to see you off. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, thanks. Having a personal maid really is embarrassing. I rise from the sofa in response to Hisui's urging. Disregarding the intruder earlier, my first morning in the mansion after seven years passed without much issue. Alright, off to school we go. Off to school we go. Hisui sees me out as I leave the mansion. The Tono Estate rests... Oh, okay, I, I read that weird, I'm sorry. That was all on me. I read that as like a rest stop. I don't know why. Not like, oh, it rests on an actual mountain. I read that like as like, as like, a, like a rest stop. I don't know. That's how I explained it, but that's how, it's, that's how I read it. But here we go. The Tono Estate re uh, rests on top of a... a top a high hill on the outskirts of Soya. Quite a distance from the station. From the vast stretch of forest in the area. It is easy to think that the manor was built simply to be an entrance to it. Well, it takes a little more than 30 minutes to pass the station and get to school from here. I should be able to make it in time for homeroom if I hurry a bit. I make my way down the long decline. It's my first time uh, taking this route to school since I've always taken the train when I was with the Arimas. It almost feels like I'm going to an entirely different school. There's not really anyone from school around here. I don't see many from Suya High in this area. 7.30 a.m. I seem to be the only one wearing a school uniform. It's a Saturday. <laughs> That'd be crazy. It's a Saturday. Unlike the south exit yesterday, the north exit is crowded with commuters. Men in suits rush by on their way to work, the kind of sight that's entirely common. They appear unbothered by the recent happenings in the city, or at least, it's not enough to warrant changing their day-to-day -day schedule. Regardless, there's no obvious change to the town. I guess he would avoid going out at night based on bad, on a bad feeling like Arahiko. Alright, we're at City Square. Well, we were. I head to the residential district away from the station. Unlike before, the road here is packed with uniformed students. My phone tells me I have 5 minutes until the school gate closes. I quicken my pace, dashing down the asphalt path so I won't be late. That's the thing in Japan, if, if they, they, they have a gate that they close if you're not there on time. And what happens then? I don't, because I know schools in America, if you're late, bro, you're just late, okay? But if it's like in Japan, it's like, oh, it's late, they close the gate. What do you do? Do you still enter the school somehow? Or I'm assuming so, right? They probably have like a, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's like, like it'd be interesting. There's like a guard that's like, nah, sorry, pal, you gotta go, you gotta go back home, man. Tell your parents what happened so they can whoop your ass for being late to school. <laughs> it took me around 30 minutes, just like I told Hisui. 
I did have to run once or twice, so I should leave a bit before 7.30 if I wanted to have plenty of time. He just dies because of his anemia. <laughs> Arihiko isn't here today. I guess uh, him coming really w uh, coming yesterday really was a fluke. I walk over to my desk, greeting my classmates on the way. I check my phone for a few minutes. Uh, I have uh, for a few minutes I have until homeroom starts. I scan the morning news as well as both school forums. The official one created at the behest of a younger of the younger teachers, and an anonymous board made by the students. There's nothing particularly interesting this morning. I look up and find the vast majority of the other students are spending their time in a similar fashion. Apparently, most teachers over 30 uh, say we don't have any real friends. Damn, that's fucked. <laughs> a common misconception by the previous generations. All that's changed in how we define our friendships. We value our friends behind the monitor as much as those we talk to in person. Our friends, our, our friends, our class gets along just fine. If anything, it used to be difficult to make friends outside of your own class, but that's not the case anymore. It's easier to than ever than ever to find people you click with. Homeroom doesn't need to be like a family anymore, as long as people get along okay. I will say, is it like, do they have that thing, like here in America, where like they have different teachers for different subjects? I'm assuming so, right? I know they have like clubs and shit, and I mean the high school I went to didn't really have clubs per se, but we did have them. We did have like a lot of after school stuff, but it's like uh, we had like different you know subjects and shit like that, like you know like math, history, English, science, or shit like that, you know, and extra any any other extracurriculars we picked, you know, like for me it was music. So, no, do they have that intro? Because they say like homeroom, like we, I know my school we didn't. I mean obviously we had a homeroom class. But that was like if we went to like go get like I don't know like our, our like pat not passports. What the hell am I talking about? Um What was it? The paper that shows our grades? That shit. Like, it was usually that, but like our first like our first class was always just whatever was on our schedule, you know? So I d I don't know if it's like that in Japan, because like just reading this, like they had to go to homeroom every day. So I don't know. But here we go. The rapid growth of the internet has bridged any gap of knowledge caused by age. We're not, uh, we might not share the same wealth of experience, but I'd say we're pretty even when it comes to day-to-day -day things. They say we have no passion, no dreams, no hope, but I don't think that's our fault. Yes, the boomer's fault, especially here in America. <laughs> I'll keep saying that. The world is smaller than it used to be. Even ele elementary schoolers know just how stalled our society has become. Which is why it's become difficult to have dreams in this day and age. That's what it means to share information. The larger of our collective knowledge grows, the smaller the lives of the people who possess it seem to become. People used to look beyond their horizon to learn. There's no need anymore. We don't need to go anywhere. People may be free, but they lost all reason to venture outside their narrow world. Whether it be the classroom, school, or city, people feel trapped. Buddy, lay down. You'd be more comfortable if you would lay down. It's not even raining. You're acting like a fool, you know that? You're acting like a fool. At least that's what people say. And that's just their personal opinion. I don't feel that sense of being trapped. I don't have any problems with our society, or feel like we're stuck. The only thing I'm worried about is enjoying every day because uh, every day I have as much as I can. Oh, excuse me. To start with, it's probably wrong for someone dreaming of the simple life to drone on about the complexities of society. I'm better full of misconceptions. The bell for homeroom rings while I'm lost in thought. The students who have been chatting away return to their seats. I put away my phone and ready my mind for class. Thus begins my second day of school since returning home. It's been three minutes since homeroom began. A replacement for Miss Toya has yet to arrive. Murmuring spread through the room. The class isn't far from crumbling into disorder. The students have completely lost focus. Everyone would prefer to go uh, to goof off until the, uh, until first period if we were going to be forgotten about anyways. 
Just one more minute. We'll be, we'll, uh, we'll behave for one more minute. After that, we can do whatever we want. Just as we make the unspoken agreement, the door rolls open. Hello. All right, quiet, everyone. Quiet. Home room is starting. Hey, there's Noel. The classroom. Oh, the classroom falls silent. We stare at the complete stranger who just entered the room. She obviously isn't Japanese. In fact, she looks more like a college student than a teacher. Well, she has like 27, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Are y'all okay? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Don't worry. I don't have any snakes in my hair, and I'm not going to turn you all to stone. Oh my. Not a fan of myths here, are we? Um, let's see. Uh, you don't have to worry about me crawling out of any television screens. Oh, but then I guess I don't have that long, stringy hair for that either. I cringe. <laughs> Still a pretty ancient reference. The woman doesn't seem bothered by it. She stands behind the teacher's podium and gives an exaggerated cough. Uh, if they're talking about, um... The ring? Or the grudge? I, uh, which one's the... The ring, right? Where she crawls out of the uh, the TV, Sadako? It's like... That's not an old movie, so what year is this based in? I mean, technically it is old. I think that movie came out in like, the early 2000s, so... I, in, in the grand like, like, spec of things, in, like, in, in our time, it would be like 20-something years old. <laughs> Are just barely hitting 20 years old. But I don't know what, what the time setting is for this game. Because I know the original Sukahim, I think, was set in the 2000s. Because obviously that's when I think it came out originally. But when did this game come out? 2019, I think, originally? For uh, Japan only? So it would make sense that would be kind of like an outdated reference. If we're talking about the ring one and not, you know, the actual, you know, Greek mythology one. <laughs> Nice to meet you all. My name is Noel Aizomi, and I'll be filling in for Miss Toma, or Toyama. Aizomi. That's like the first or second time I remember her actually having an actual last name. We'll only be together for a short month, but I look forward to having a great time with you. I'll be teaching PE in English. My favorite food is Mont Blanc. Blanc, there you go. And I like getting gift cards on my birthday. And please don't talk about pet shops around me, as they're just not my thing. I, mean, I, I guess gift cards are better than like socks. I'm happy to answer any questions you have for me, so feel free to ask me anything your heart desires. Heart emoji. What? That'd be funny if she said that. Like, it's like anything your heart desires. Heart emoji. They're like, did she just say that? A thunderous crash breaks the silence. The sound originated from a male student who jumped up from his chair after seeing Miss Noel's wink. I have to admit, it got me as well. I mean, to be fair, you're still a growing boy, my man. So. Miss Noel isn't what I call an absolute stunner, but that only adds to her charm. I guess you could say it makes her more approachable. She's the kind of slightly older woman uh, uh, guys my age are really into. Her charm is hard to put into words, but there's something about her that I think tickles every high school guy's fancy. Is like the Marilyn Monroe mold that she's got going on? I have a question. How old are you? Where do you live? Creepy. That's creepy as shit. You don't say that, dog. <laughs> they even ask like a, just a question. That's weird. What do you have on your days off? Do you have any hobbies? Uh, 
Are you into high schoolers? Man, my man went straight for the punch, huh? Everybody was like trying to like weave around that. My man said, do you like minors? <laughs> That's insane. A wave of questions comes flooding from the boys. Stuff like this you would usually be safe for the anonymous message boards. But after that wink, it seems the guys couldn't wait. The girls look at, uh, look at the boys like they're human trash. But this doesn't seem to bother them. Now feverishly bombarding Miss Noel with questions. Ah, oh, what a wonderful response, thank you. Oh, she's 25. Okay. Oh, she's 27. Oh, she's 27. Oh, she's 27. Let's see. I'm sure the girls will figure it out eventually, so I'll just tell you, uh, tell you that I'm 25. I rent an apartment two stations away. I like my men matured and well read. And my hobby is helping out with the church on Sundays. I love it if you all came and said a prayer with us sometimes. Yeah, she's 25. I thought she was 27. I read somewhere that she was 27. Church? Are you a nun? You're a nun on your off time? The, this guy's barely disguised fetish just came out. <laughs> That's right. It's really common where I come from. Though I'm just a volunteer. Uh, so all I can do is hear the confessions of lost little lambs. I just bit my tongue, what the fuck? Ow. Miss Noel's surprisingly openness, surprising open, open, fuck, openness, creates a stir among the male students. If I'm being honest, the word none has piqued my own interest. The girls, on the other hand, are playing with their phones in silence. I casually check the anonymous, the anonymous students' forums to see what they're saying. The boys are so gross. Do they actually think anyone be into them? She's not even that pretty. I wish she would do that, oh, look at me, I'm French thing somewhere else. We got D1 haters, ladies and gentlemen. We got the D1 haters. <laughs> she's like, not even hiding how much she loves this, or she's loving this. About what I expected. More and more gossip is posted to the forum. Before long, the classroom has been bizarrely split among the, among uh, along gender lines. The tribes are firmly divided into disgusting boys and nasty girls. A war clicks right out of a middle school. Miss Noel smiles wanly as she watches the chaos unfold. <laughs> it seems this class may be a little bit on the slow side. Damn, she just called everybody here on the spectrum. <laughs> Not something you'd expect to hear from a teacher, huh? Hey, best girl. Unable to keep up what's happening, I look around and met eyes with Yumizuka. It looks like she's uh, she feels the same way as me. What is happening? The classroom is lively. Which should have been a normal day now if there was anything but... <clears throat> morning classes of, <clears throat> sorry morning classes have have ended there we go the classroom feels more restless than usual tensions have been simmering between the guys and the girls since third period miss noel's class it seems that the girls have put miss noel in the teachers we don't like category in any case it's lunch now most of the classroom is making their way to the cafeteria, or the school store. The only ones left in the classroom are... Satsuki? Uh, Yumizuka and her group of friends. Now, where should I get lunch? Alright. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I just burped and I don't want you guys, I don't want you guys to hear that. Alright, number one. I'll eat lunch at the cafeteria. I'll buy some bread and eat in the classroom. I'll go into the hallway and think about it. Okay, now if I remember correctly, this is where uh, going to the hallway. That's where you actually meet Noel. 
Uh, but you know what? I'm a bit hungry, so let's go to the cafeteria. First of all, who the fuck just eats bread for lunch? Just straight up bread, like no bread, no no butter, no jam, no cheese, dog. Just straight up bread. That's insane. That's insane, dog. Fortunately, I seem to be in pretty good health today. I think I'll treat myself to some fancy lunch special A. Okay. I normally wouldn't order it since it's a bit pricey, but I don't have to worry about money anymore. Because my sister's fucking rich. <laughs> As of yesterday, I'm bankrolled by the Tono Empire. <laughs> Every day, I want to have the finest school lunch available. If I were to make such a request to the head of the Tona, house, or Tona family, she would be sure to grant it with a smile. Is that so? Then I shall cover all your eating expenses in advance. I will consult your school cafeteria regarding their offerings for the month and decide what you'll eat each day. That's insane. Hmm. For some reason, I feel a chill go up my spine, but I ignore it and head, for, uh, head to the cafeteria. I have to enjoy the freedom of eating whatever I want while I still can. Dude, like, my mustache is, like, going up into my nose. It's, like, annoying the shit out of me. That's why if you see me messing with my fucking face a lot, it's because my mustache is, like... I gotta shave my mustache. It's, like, going up my fucking nose. It's, like, annoying the shit out of me. I have a little bit of TMI, but it's, like, uh, it's like annoying. School ends. I didn't have any Disney dizziness or anemia. It was a good day today. Wait, what did he have for lunch? I want to know what he had. What was special A? What was lunch special A, dude? Come on. You said it was fancy, so it had to be, like, something crazy. Well, we just got the emergence of of a strange virus rampaging through our classroom. The girls have taken it to call, uh, taken to call it Noel Fever. Noel-itis is another one. Not even lunch served, the cool, uh, served to cool the tension between the afflicted boys and the girls side-eyeing side -eyeing them. It's, like, it's looking like the battle will continue into tomorrow. The boys who managed to break the fever were showered by praise, uh, with praise by the girls, but labeled idiots, traitors, and worse by their still feverish former brethren. Just another day at high school. Traitor. Ah, well. I guess she isn't like anyone we've seen before. Still, I don't understand why everyone is so obsessed with her. I mean, Aki is way pretty. Ah, there you are. Do you have a moment, Shiki? Did she telepathically detect my roasting or something? Roasting? Is that what we? Is that the word we're using there? Okay. My, you look like a deer in the headlights. Were you thinking about something naughty, perhaps? Man, that's a student. That's a student. Okay, he's 17. You're 25. That's a, that's a pretty big age gap there. Again, that's like one of the flaws that I have with this game. It seems like every fucking female character in this game just has a slight thing for Cheeky. It makes sense for the two girls, you know, Arcoate and CL, but it it's a little weird sometimes. Yeah, so it's uh, no, of course not. Um, what is it you need, Miss Noel? I saw all the guilt I feel comparing Miss Noel and Akia, and try my best to uh, change the subject. And then... A smile flickers across Miss Noel's face, like she's seen straight through me. Noel-sensei, <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oof. Hmm, Miss Noel. I sure do like the ring to that. Japan, I was a bit 
先生って呼ばれるのは癖になりそう背徳的でちょっとドキドキしちゃうもの Everything here in Japan is so new. I was worried I wouldn't fit in. But I could get used to being a teacher for a cutie like you. It feels so immoral. Tell me about it. Ano, Noel sensei. Um. Miss Noel. Oh, notice how the music stopped. Notice that. I love that. I love that little detail. Like the music's playing. There's something. I don't want to say drastic, but something of change happens and the music just stops. I, I like that. Or the change is one of the two. Shoto chikain. Uh, do you think you could uh, back up a bit? Don't worry about it. You're supposed to pretend you don't understand what's going on, silly. Look, doesn't my neck look pretty? Again, this is a student. I don't know if it's the nerves or the power of the setting sun. I hear her voice not from in front of me, but behind me, like she's whispering directly into my ear. So, don't be scared. Ooh, the heart beats. Just let our fingers touch. Feel each other's warmth. Accept me. And he's like, man, this is the most uncomfortable I've been since I got fucking stabbed in the chest when I was a kid. So, <laughs> That's it. I want you to gobble me up. It just got really uncomfortable here. <laughs> Her breath nears. Our legs intertwined. She wraps her arms around my back like she doesn't want me escaping. Right in front of me. A woman's smooth, seductive neck. Listen, doesn't the sound of my heartbeat excite you? I think you need to go to prison is what you need to do. Just forget about yourself. Forget about everything. Just throw out anything that would get in our way, like pretenses and these. Her fingers slither up to my glasses. Wow, what a, what a mood killer she is. <laughs> I do a complete 180. <laughs> the moment she touches them, I jump away. My entire body revolts against the idea of seeing the, seeing the lines. Got you. I thought I'd tease you a little to commemorate our first day together. Heart emoji. What's a better way to introduce yourself than a little、uh, physical contact? What do you call it here? Skinship? So we still have lots to learn about each other, I think. That's creepy as shit, okay. <laughs> That was supposed to be a joke? Yeah, you tell me, man. I don't think that's what you would call.、Uh, what? I don't think that's what you would just. What? I don't think that's what you would call what just transpired. There's a limit to that kind of jokes you can crack as a teacher. Like, Alright, l you creep. What is it you want? What is it you needed? You made it sound like you were looking for me. Oh, so I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I wanted your help with something, but it's all taken care of. So, I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'll see you tomorrow, Shiki. Be careful not to end up like Miss Toyoma. That's probably one of the most fuck things, say, things to say to a student, bro. That's like, especially if you were like fond of that teacher, but like, yeah, you just told me not to end up dead like my fucking、oh, voice crack. You just told me not to end up fucking dead like my goddamn teacher, bro. Like, that's kind of fuck to say to a student, right? Like, what? That is like, that's fucked. What the hell? Alright. Miss Noel leaves with a wave. 
Something about that last remark bothers me. I asked about Miss Toyama. Oh, okay. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't know we could have that. Number one, I asked about Miss Toyama. Two, but I chose not to think about it. Um, let's get dangerous. Noel uh, Miss Noel, I call out to her, but I can't help but ask. Toyama Sensei, Oh, the music stopped again. What do you mean? What did you mean? And I like Miss Toyama. I asked that question that shouldn't be asked. Miss Noel, the substitute teacher for Miss Toyama, softly places her index finger on her lips. Or to her lips. Miss Toyama passed away last night. We know that, yes. They found half of her body burnt to a crisp outside the park. She, rep uh, she responds almost like she's singing. I'd be like, oh. I'm going to report this teacher to the principal. <laughs> I leave the school as fast as I fucking can. <laughs> the left side of my throat hurts a little, like something has scratched it. I don't have anything to do, and I... I uh, let's not pick up. Let's not piss off Akia. So let's go straight home. I head straight back to the Tono Mansion. I did promise Akia that I'd be home before sunset. I don't know if I buy the news about the serial killer, but life can take some unexpected turns. I happen to know a little kid who went to play in town, only to come back with a massive injury on his chest. I should avoid any unnecessary risk. Homeboy, you were the kid who went to play the town and had a massive injury on his chest. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You took that unnecessary risk when you were younger. What are you talking about, dude? Insane. Alright, walking home. Try not to think at what the hell Noel just told us. First of all, okay, if you're still in school for some reason. I say for some reason. <laughs> but if a teacher tells you shit like that, I think you should immediately report them to your principal. <laughs> okay? Especially after that little skinship thing she just shut off. All right, got cut her. Change the common sense, whatever that means. The strange of my neck is strangely warm. It feels swollen. Maybe that's why I don't remember where I'm going. Night covers the city like water from a leaky pipe. It's far more lively than this morning. The shining headlights of cars, the throngs of people that the station swallows up and spits out. The number of uniformed students has dropped drastically. And brightly uh, clothed people now own the streets. I rise from the bench I was sitting on. It's time. I start towards the shopping district, though I have no reason to go there. But I think you need to go back home. <laughs> JK, you need to go back home, big dog. I slip into the side street, away from the main avenue. It's more of an alley than a street. There's no one around. Completely silent. No sign of life. Nothing except the rustling from in there. The light from the vending machine is blinding. A modern convenience at odds with this place. I hurry past the glaring brightness. I make for the darkness. Darkness befitting of the night. To shadowy places more confined and further from prying eyes. I place my hands on the rusted fence. If I can open this and go inside, I can... Hey, you. <laughs> huh? The voice stops me in my tracks. I come back to my senses on a daze. I don't understand. Why did I come here? And why was I trying to go in there? Excuse me. Could you spare a hundred yen? Hey, it's that chick from earlier. I turn around to find a strange girl standing in front of the vending machines. It seems she wants to buy a drink, but doesn't have any change. I'm not sure if it's the guilt I felt losing myself, or if I'm just if I just can't bring myself to refuse. I hand the girl a hundred yen. 
Thanks. I appreciate it. The girl pushes my money through the coin slot and presses a button. She picks up the can that is dispensed. Then scrunches her face in a frown. <clears throat> Pretty reckless, walking around at a time like this. Isn't your family waiting for you at home? I check my phone. The clock informs me it's 7.40, without a hint of mercy. I only have 20 minutes until my curfew. In a panic, I make uh, I make to dash out of the alleyway, when from behind. Wait a second. The girl calls out to me again. What is it? Sorry, but I'm in kind of a hurry. The girl tosses me the canned drink to me. Surprised, I catch it. Didn't she buy this for herself though? I don't know, looking at the, the glass there, that shit, one of those looks broken. You can just stick your hand in that bitch and just grab that shit, dog. <laughs> you can have it. Why? Didn't see anything I liked. Then why the fuck did you ask me for my money? <laughs> the girl voices her displeasure and walks past me briskly. Yeah. Wait, I don't have any time to be standing around. I rush away as well. What kind of brother? No. What kind of human breaks this curfew on the first day? I've got to get back now or else Aki will rip me a new one. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm home. I open and close the gate or the door as quietly as possible and sneak into the lobby. I'm sure my greeting isn't too loud or too quiet. It's one minute before eight. My mad dash from the station nearly got me home on time, but I feel like I'm going to throw up. That hill is a killer. I totally forgot my downhill path to school means I had to climb uphill to get back home. <laughs> Welcome home, Master Shiki. <laughs> I'm sure you're tired, but please come to the office before retiring to your room. Mistress Akia wishes to speak with you. Oh, he's... he's... he's fuck. <laughs> Uh, the office, huh? I could have guessed that being called to the office meant Akio wasn't happy with me. Yeah, she's not a happy camper. Perhaps your pennant for detours is due to an overabundance of financial freedom. As punishment, I will be reducing your monthly allowance by 20%. My punishment. Doled out to me the moment I entered the office without any chance to explain myself. I guess I didn't realize I'd be getting... I didn't realize I would be getting money each month for my sister. And now it's been slashed. Hope you're happy, old man. Aki is even stricter than you were. <laughs> but I made it back before curfew, right? No, because you were supposed to get back before sunsets, buddy, and that was around 6 o'clock, and you got home when it was nighttime. <laughs> Though I, I guess I did promise that I'd be back before the sunsets. My, I'm surprised. You actually remember that, do you? 
Then why did you not keep your word? I just kind of forgot. Hmm. What a coincidence. I've forgotten something as well. There's an additional punishment. You'll be going without dinner tonight. What? I, I, she's the tyrant. <laughs> if she's this angry when I actually make my curfew, I don't know if I whether I'll survive if I actually miss it. I trudged back across the lobby on my way to my room. Despite my protest, I wasn't able to convince Akia to let me have dinner. Though she did agree to only decrease my allowance by 10%. A singular but important victory as an older brother. I would have been like, I don't give a shit, okay? I, just, I woke up in the middle of the fucking bench in the city, okay? I think I have more problems than not eating dinner, alright? <laughs> Cheeky. Cheeky. Kohaku? Kohaku calls out to me before I arrive to my room. Hidden in the corner of the hallway, she seems to have reverted to her conspirator mode from this morning. Uh, what were you thinking? You have to at least follow the rules on your first full day. She was here so early, expecting that you would be here too. Who was here early? Isn't it obvious? Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> As a loyal servant, I cannot allow you to go to a, a go without dinner. Which is why I prepared a light meal for you in your room. It's just onigiri and miso, and miso soup, however. What a thoughtful housekeeper. It was the same with my phone this morning. She's being so nice to me. Even though it might get her in trouble Lakia. Are you sure? I mean, I'm really thankful, really, but... I'm quite sure. Your health is at stake here. Yeah, I think... Uh, I, th I, I think Akia might have forgotten that her brother has anemia, so... <laughs> Yes, we agreed as well. Please don't worry. Even if we are dis uh, even if we are discovered, Mistress Akio will forgive us if we apologize together. Hmm. The maid actually cares, huh? Despite how stoic she looks, she's pretty thoughtful. I guess she took pity on me having to go without dinner, though she didn't show it. Shiki, she has a name, you know. Ah, Yeah, uh, sorry. It's just she's been hard to get through to. Uh, get, yeah, get through to. So I wasn't sure if I was if it was right for me to be so casual with her. How could you, Shiki? That's really mean. She may not wear her heart on her sleeve, but she's incredibly kind. I hope that you'll come to think of her like family. Kohaku looks straight at me. Maybe I've been a little unfair to Hisui. She's looking out for me, just like Kohaku is. I should give her a break. Oh, you're right. I'll try to get along with Hisui better. She's been nothing but good to me, even if I ask her not to. Well, that's wonderful to hear.
Kohaku bids me a good evening and returns to the first floor. In my heart, I give my thanks to my guardian angel, the nightingale of the Tono Mansion, and return to my room. Onigiri. Huh, no, no doubt they're delicious if Kohaku made them. Whew, that was a nice dip. After I had scarfed down Kohaku's onigiri, uh, Hisui came to tell me ba the bath was available. And by the time I returned to my room, it was 9 p.m. It's a little too early to sleep. 9 p. That's too early for you, dog. That's that's. I go to sleep at nine, dog. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because I, I mean I say I'm getting old. I'm only 26, but it's just like. Uh, it, it's like, bro, I, I have, I mean, then again, it's like, I think that's because, like, you know, my job where I used to have to, like, wake up at, like, 5.30 just to get ready because my job started at 6. Uh, but here we go. All I have to, all I have to read is textbooks, and I'm not feeling particularly tired. If I have time to kill anyway, I'll, let's see, go to the parlor and talk with Akia. No. Stop by Kohaku's room. No, relax here in my room. We'll just, well, I think we'll just have to let the fire settle down here, Shiki. So <laughs> we're just have to relax in the whole, in the room, my man. I think I'll just stay here. I feel nice and warm after my bath, and I had to ruin this feeling by walking outside. I throw myself on my bed like a child. Master Shiki, are you here? What? I launch myself from the bed in surprise. Despite not having anything done wrong, I feel like I've been caught in the middle of something, uh, of some terrible mischief. Of course. Please come in. Thank you. Alright, she said more than thank you. <laughs> that, that's just the Japanese uh, translation. I've come to make your bed with you in it. <laughs> what, is it what does that mean? It's like, it's nine, I'm gonna go to sleep. I will hope you will forgive me for bothering you. It's not a bother at all. I'm uncomfortable having someone make my bed for me. It makes, it makes me feel way too pampered. Though after two days here, I've learned that saying that that out loud will only serve to trouble her. Uh, thanks. I'll be over here trying not to get in your way. Don't mind me. I shuffle over to the corner of the room. Hisui briefly pauses, then suddenly begins making the bed, finishing moments later. By the time she's done, the bread looks ban- the bread? <laughs> the bed looks brand new. Thank you for waiting. Your bed is now ready. He would bow slightly before moving to the door. Oh, wait. I stop her. I wanted to thank her for making the bed. Though unintentionally, my hand lands on her shoulder. Damn. That same instant, He Sui's hand slaps mine away. I'm surprised, but not as much as she is. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to. I guess I dropped my guard after soaking in the bath. It was like I was back in the, with the Arimas, so I completely for, uh, so I got completely ahead of myself. No. I should be the one apologizing. I am not used to being touched. Please forgive me. He's is shaking ever so slightly. <clears throat> that felt like an overreaction, but I'm the one who frightened her. Look. I'm sorry. Ooh, it just thundered. I heard thunder. Which means I should be wrapping this up pretty soon. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I thought you'd, what? I thought you'd uh, go even if I called, uh, what? 
I thought you'd go even a call if I called out to you. I knew Hisu would have stopped for me, but for some reason, it didn't feel like that in that moment. Please, you have nothing to apologize for, Master Shiki. Forget my rudeness. I have offended you, and for that I am terribly sorry. No, you don't. You, you're no. You haven't offended me at all. Though I was surprised. You have incredibly fast reflexes. Her speed of uh, that was like a experienced martial artist. She probably would have gone applause if we were in a dojo. Perhaps because I'm always attending to the mansion. Are you fighting off intruders? Okay. Hisui looks away like she's embarrassed. Thank goodness. She realized I meant it as a compliment. I'm sorry. You wish to ask me something. What may I assist you with, Master Shiki? Oh. I forgot. <laughs> oh, I, uh... I can't tell her that I just wanted to thank her for making my bed. I need something else. That's it. I was wondering about Akia. She goes to a boarding school, right? So why does she live here? You are familiar with it. It is indeed a boarding school, but Akia has a special uh, or has special permission to commute from home. So she has to make that commute every day. はい。ですが、今日のように夕方に帰られることはまれです。1日の学業が済みになった後は習い事が終わりなので、お帰りになられるのは決まって7時前となります。Yes. Yes. Though it is right for her to return as early in the evening as she did today. Usually, her extracurriculars prevent her from coming home around uh, until around 7. 習い事。例えばどんな? Extracurriculars. What? I believe today she would have had violin and foreign language lessons. Today? Her schedule is like that every day then. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Our father made me do lots of stuff like that when I was little. She then approves the Tono Group daily business reports until lights out. In the mornings, she goes over the proceedings for the day before breakfast. Whoa. That's certainly surprising. Her entire lifestyle is terrifying. She's a... It's not vulnerable. What is that? Vener... Ven what the hell is that word? She's an iron lady, we'll just say that. I'll probably look that, that word later. Mistress, Mistress Aki returns before dinner on weekdays. So if you would like to talk with her, please speak with my sister after you eat. As for weekends, Mistress Akia sometimes has time off. I can also arrange a meeting with her for you on those days. Damn, imagine having uh, having to arrange a meeting with your own sister. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> that would be insane. Like, I can't have just like a normal conversation with my sister. I had to fucking arrange that. That's kind of sad. <laughs> That's actually really sad when you think about it. So uh, got it. Thanks for the info. 
He sweet bows and leaves the room after bidding me a good evening. Still. Violin lessons and running a company? Well, first of all, violin fucking sucks, alright? As someone who comes from a, you know, a brass band, you know, I used to play trombone back in middle school and high school. I also played a little bit of bass as well, but come on, man, violin? I don't understand what the that whole connotation is with violin and preppy people. Is I don't, like, they can play other instruments, you know? <laughs> Like, it's always violin or clarinet. I don't know why. It's always those two. It's always either a stringed instrument like a violin, a cello, or a viola. Or it's always like a clarinet or a flute. Nothing else. It's always it's always like those five instruments. Not drums, not guitar, not bass, not trumpet, not saxophone. Always a fucking violin, cello, viola, um flute or clarinet it's always those five it's always those five <laughs> i don't know if you guys ever noticed that in media but it's always those five instruments never anything else i'm sure most of the actual running of each department is done by whoever leads it but it sounds like she still has a final say on on everything <laughs> well, i guess that big office just w wasn't just for show I feel a mixture of guilt and awe. The Aki in my memory is a sweet, timid girl, always following me around because she was so anxious. But now, not only is she a top student, she's also running an entire conglomerate. Uh, that just what happens, I suppose. People can change a lot in seven years. Just like the past seven years have made me the Shiki Tono of today, so have they given rise to the current Akio Tono. Seven years is a long time, about half my entire life in fact, and I wasn't here during the most formative years of hers. Eh, I guess I really am a failure of a brother. I'm almost an obvious truth to myself, in a fit of self-deprecation. It's far too late to be expecting forgiveness. Maybe I could have lessened some of her burden if I were around these past seven years. I wonder. Though I know it's just me being self, uh, be me being self-absorbed, self-absorbed. There you go. All right. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we're gonna end it today. We got to meet Miss Noel, and we got to meet the wrath of our dear little sister. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video, and if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It has been your boy, White Album. I will see you guys next time.